Today we're talking about camera clips, and specifically the Peak Designs Capture Clip and the PG Tech Beetle. Which one is suitable for you and worthy of your hard-earned money? Stay tuned and we'll find out. So recently, I started my adventure with photography and, and videoing. Um, and with that, you need a way to move your camera around from one place to the other. And typically most people go for, you know, the strap, such as this Peak Designs strap here. It's great. I think it's one of the number one things that you can get as a strap. But sometimes the straps could be cumbersome, and that was something that I was worried about. Throughout my research of the camera, I found clips that would clip onto a backpack strap or a belt that would easily hold your camera. The two that I found of the Peak Designs Capture Clip and the PG Tech Beetle, but I had the same dilemma as many new videographers and photographers of which clip is best for me. The Capture Clip is $75 and the PG Tech is $59. Well, I did the only rational thing and bought both of them. The way I've tested these clips is I've had them for about a month now and I've used them pretty rigorously. Um, one with a trip to the Smoky Mountains, it was about a week long. Um, I tested both clips equally every other day. I'll go over the pros and cons for each clip because one may be better for some person over the other clip. To start out, both products come pretty nicely packaged. This is gonna be the package that you're gonna get with the Peak Designs capture clip, okay? Um, Peak Designs has good packaging, magnetic enclosure, nothing too crazy, but pretty nice. The PG Y Tech looks like this. Um, I got it off of Amazon, I had it the next day. I actually purchased the Beetle first because the capture clip was out of stock, and I was just gonna place a later order and wait for the capture clip, but I needed the Beetle soon so that I could film with it. The next day I ended up finding a capture clip in my local REI, I bought the last one they had in stock, and decided to go ahead and head to head both the clips and find out which one is better. So I'm gonna start out with the pros for the PG Tech Beetle. One of the main things that I found that I really liked from the Beetle was it's extremely easy to transfer from one bag to the other. Um, the way that it kind of functions is it's got a latch up here, which will pop open, it has a hinge here, and it opens up. It has a rubberized interior so that it grips the strap really well. And then on this side, you can see it has two sets of hinges. So that's the thinner one. That's almost too thin, you almost can't even use that one. You could use it on that setting. Flip the little tab up, hook it in a groove, flip it over, and boom. The weight between the two is negligible. The PG Tech is only 81 grams without the clip in it. And the capture clip is 72 grams without the plate. The other positive for the PG Tech that I had was its price. It was $15 cheaper. Initially, the, the Beetle was my favorite clip between the two. Just setting up for the trip and being real quick and easy to just slap it on one backpack, slap it on my belt, and throw it in a pocket, and then enter the Peak Designs. The thing that I didn't like about the Peak Designs is the way that it fastens onto a strap or any type of belt or anything. Um, the way that it works is you have to unscrew these screws and, and they unscrew. Um, you back them out about the length that you need. And then there's a clip right here. You see it opens, it hinges open, and then there's a, there's a small gap that you, that you would have between the two. It's great in theory. However, it does not work on nearly as thick of a strap as the PG Tech did for me at first. Once I got the hang of this clip, it was much easier to get on and off. So you just flip it over, let the little notch go on the screw, tighten the screw down to what you need it to be each side. It tightens up and you're good to go. See, not too different. You can see that the uh, Peak Designs does have the rounded sides, whereas these continue to be square, so this has a little bit more streamlined. The way I was wearing it was up high on my left chest, um, my left chest strap for my backpack. Um, holds the camera real easy, you can just clip it in, and 
when you clip it in on this one, you get a slight audible click. So you know it's locked in. Both of the clips were very durable. The back of the PG Tech is plastic. This part right here is, is a plastic, whereas up here is metal. This is eventually gonna fail, especially with the amount of pressure that's getting put on just those little metal pins right there on each side. See down here with the bracket. Just that little bit of pressure is really eventually gonna weaken this, this plastic and it's gonna fail, I believe. This, fully metal all the way around. Every part of this is metal. There is no plastic. There's only a little bit of rubber and that's between the plate and the back. This isn't gonna fail ever. Um, and when you're carrying around several thousand dollars in camera gear on your shoulder or your belt, you wanna know that it's not gonna break randomly and you're gonna lose whatever lens you're using or whatever camera you're using. Another initial negative that I had for this was it couldn't go on as thick as straps, like I said. But since their mechanism for securing the plates to each other is a screw, you can back these screws out all the way. So you can back the screws out all the way, right? You could go to your local hardware store, take this screw right here, find one as long as you need it to be. So really your strap thickness is infinite to your, your screw length. It does include two, two screws that don't have the, the, the knurling on the, on the screw head. If you want to do it as a permanent solution and you want a little less bulk, um, they do include those along with the Allen wrench for the plate that comes with the, the, the capture clip. Another pro for the Peak Design that I found was the positioning of the unlock button was much more ergonomic for this one. Um, the way that I was carrying it was like this, in this orientation. And I'm right-handed, I grab my camera with my right hand, and when this was on my, on my backpack, I would grab the camera, and I could activate the switch with my right thumb, pick the camera up like this, and never have to touch it. The Beetle, the clip is on the opposite side. So if you want to, because there's only one way you can do it, clip from the top. I guess you could do clip from the bottom, but that's just kind of weird. Um, it's all the way over here. So I, I wasn't able to get a good grip and then force it up too. It was just kind of awkward. Specifically when I used a belt, um, I noticed a very, very big difference between the two clips because of the thickness of the back plate. This black plate is about a quarter of an inch thick, whereas the Peak Design, much less than a quarter of an inch thick. This doesn't press and cause pressure points and rocking on your hip or wherever you have it on your belt like that one did. Um, it felt really flat. It distributed the pressure of the camera hanging off of the clip really, really well. Um, I preferred having it on my belt over my backpack strap, which isn't very common. I see most people when they use it, it's on their strap on their backpack. Um, I put it on my right hip and would just clip it in. Very low key, very, very secure too. I never had any issues. So to wrap everything up, all in all, both clips are very good clips. They're not gonna have your camera fall off unless the plastic part of the beetle fails, which probably won't be for a while, um, but it is possible. For the price difference of $15, I don't think you can go wrong with a lifetime warranty. A lifetime warranty in all metal construction, lighter weight, it looks cooler to me too. You have the audible click. It's got the button on the correct side. So with all this stuff in mind, I hope this video helped you out a lot. Uh, feel free to like or ask me a question in the comments if it's something that I didn't answer and you're thinking of, I'll be happy to, to respond to you and, and clear the waters up. Shake it around. <laughs>